In this video, we'll see how to get started writing a simple program in the Ruby programming language on your Windows machine. To get started, I'm going to assume that you have installed Ruby using Rails installer. Now Rails installer installs not just Ruby, but also Ruby on Rails, which is a framework to create uh, web applications. But I found it to be a simple way to get uh, started with Ruby as well. So if you if you would just download the kit and also watch the instructions on how to get started, uh, how to install the software, then we can get started. So I'm going to open the Windows Explorer and navigate to the C drive. And within the C drive, you should have a folder called Sites, which is uh, installed by Rails installer. And within that, you can go ahead and right click and create a new file called let's say test.rb now test.rb is a text file that means it contains just plain text whatever text you type in and that text will be the program the ruby program that you will write and it has an extension .rb which signifies that this is a ruby program as opposed to another kind of file so just make sure you have that uh, uh, extension and click OK. And sometimes the Windows uh, Explorer will prompt you for uh, this with this warning and that uh, says that, uh, you know, if you change the file name extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? You can say yes. And now you should have a file called test.rb. The next thing you need to do is go on to your um, all programs and within that scroll down to rails installer within that you'll have a icon that says command prompt with ruby and rails so just click that and you should have a command prompt that looks kind of like this and this command prompt as you can see is uh, placed currently in the sites folder so if you were to do uh, dir dir is a command that lets you see all the files and folders within this particular folder you can see that you have this test.rb file that we just created. Sometimes the file that you create would be called test.rb.txt. Okay. And the reason for that is because you have selected a text file, you know, so when you right click and say create a new file and say you want to create a text document, then Microsoft Windows by default puts the .txt extension at the end of it. And so you might see that it is test.rb.txt instead of just plain test.rb. If you see that, do not worry, just type in move for move test.rb.txt space test.rb. Now what you're doing is you're saying, you're telling Windows to move the file called test.rb.txt to the file called test.rb and that is how you would rename a file by uh, using this move command here. And when you rename it, you're removing the .txt extension and you're just letting it have the .rb extension. And now you can press enter. And now you can see that your folder has a file called test.rb. The next step is to go back to your Windows Explorer and open this file in your favorite text editor. I prefer notepad to keep things really simple. So I'm going to right click on this file here. And so I'm going to right click on test.rb and I'm going to open with and here I want to say that I want to choose a default program that I will use to open all files that have a .rb extension. So click on open with and default choose default program. And let's say you want your default program to be notepad. Okay, so select notepad and click OK and always use the select program to open this kind of file. And if you do not find notepad here, you can always click browse and try to locate notepad. And you should see that your test.rb file has been opened within notepad. And now you can type in your code. Let us just get started with a simple one line of code. I'm going to say puts or put s within quotes hello world and quote close the quotes and be sure to file save 
And now that you have saved this one single line of Ruby code, you can head back to your command prompt and you can type in Ruby space test dot RB and press enter. And if you do that, you will see that your program runs. It says hello world, just as you said it should in your program. So that's a simple example of how you would create a file in your Windows uh, file system and run it in your Windows command prompt using Ruby. Now, you can use the same procedure to create more such files. So let me just quickly outline that here. So you should go ahead and create a new file called test2.rb and click enter, yes. And if need be, you can just click DIR, make sure test2.rb does have rb as its extension and does not have .txt. If it does have .txt, you can always move test2.rb.txt to test2.rb. Um, and you can change the name to test2.rb. And once that is there, you can go back to your explorer double click on test2.rb now and if you were to double click now it will automatically open it using notepad because you have already specified that notepad is the default editor for your .rb files and now you can say put as another program or some other piece of text here and you can say save you can go back to your command prompt you can say ruby test 2.rb and it'll print out whatever you asked it to so hopefully you now have a good idea for how to get started writing your own programs using ruby on your windows machine thanks for watching and have a great day